Welcome to the tour of CM4D Reporter. This video will help you to learn some of the ways in which data can be analyzed by CM4D Reporter using the example data provided on your USB key. If you have not done so already, run CM4D Reporter. This is done by double-clicking run CM4D.exe from the root folder of the USB key. Once CM4D is running, you will need to load some data. Browse to the USB drive and open the data folder. Then open the examples folder. In this folder, you will see four folders labeled with example part names. These four parts will be the ones referenced throughout this tour. Browse to the Lego Man folder. For this example, the part image file in the first five files containing both nominal information and sample measurement data will be selected for analysis. To get the files to appear in CM4D Reporter, right-click and copy the six files. Then go to the Inbox folder, which is on the same level as the Examples folder, and right-click and paste the files there. Watch the Inbox folder for a moment. When CM4D Reporter is running, you will see the data files disappear from the Inbox as they are processed. Back in CM4D Reporter, you will see an icon light up on the toolbar. This is the new data notification icon, which will become enabled anytime new data is processed through the inbox. Click the new data notification button to load the data into CM4D Reporter. The part name will appear in the yellow tree under Routines, and will have a blue check mark indicating that it is the part that is loaded in the report. In this case, it is the Lego Man data that is automatically loaded into the report. To view a six pack report, or drill down of a single feature, double-click the annotation or right-click on it and select six-pack from the menu. To return to the main report, double-click anywhere on the six-pack report. Use the backspace key. Or right-click and select report from the menu. To view different samples of your data, use the sample control area of the toolbar. Use the red arrows to navigate to a different sample. Take note of how the report updates to display feature information for each sample selected. To navigate to a specific sample, select the sample label in the drop-down menu. Next to the sample control is the sheet control. Each sheet displays a set of features, so you can use the drop-down menu to select a specific sheet. If you want to view all of the sheets in the report, select Array from the menu, as with the red sample control buttons. Use the blue navigation arrows of the sheet control to move from one sheet to another. Scroll the mouse wheel to zoom the main report display in and out. Hold down the mouse wheel to pan, or drag, the sheet within the display window. To fit the sheet to the size of your display window, select the blue zoom fit button from the toolbar. If you have a 3D image for your part, you can also manipulate the orientation and zoom of the image in the report. To do this, Click on the image or use the toggle edit mode button. When the view is in edit mode, it will have a purple border. Click and hold with the left mouse button to rotate the image within the view on the report. To zoom the image in and out, scroll the mouse wheel back and forth. You can also right click to zoom max, in, or out, as well as to orient the image along specific axes. Clicking outside the purple border will close edit mode. Next. Browse to the Examples folder on the USB drive. Open the Plate folder and copy all of the files to the inbox. Included are one nominal data file, five sample measurement files, one constructed feature file, and one image file. Next, go to the Q1000 folder and copy all of those files to the inbox as well. Included are one nominal data file, ten sample measurement files, and one image file. Open the inbox to watch as the files are picked up by a CM4D reporter. Once the inbox is empty, go back to CM4D reporter where you will see how this data will appear for analysis. Click the new data notification icon to load the new data into CM4D reporter. The two new part names will now appear in the yellow tree under Lego Man. The newest part, or routine, will be loaded automatically into the current report in this case the default report, called single. If you want to change the orientation of the sheet, click the toggle report orientation button on the toolbar. To switch back, click it again. 
If you want to fit more annotation on the sheet, click the Toggle Report Size button on the toolbar. Click it again to switch back to the larger size. To select a different report, use the Report Type drop-down on the toolbar. The report will change but the same data will be used. Any report annotation can be drilled down to the six-pack report. Next, load the plate data by double-clicking the part name in the yellow tree. Change the report type to Polar Chart. Since Polar Charts only use the polar characteristic of a feature, the SIFT rules will need to be adjusted in order for the data to appear properly in the charts. Open the SIFT rules to do this. In the SIFT rules dialog, scroll up to the first section, SMI Types. In the section for whole characteristics, uncheck the boxes for primary and secondary, and then select the checkbox for polar. Click OK to apply your changes. Once the right characteristic is selected, the polar charts will be displayed properly. Now use the report type drop down to switch to a trend report. Back in the examples folder, open the corner module folder. Select the image file, the nominal data file, and the first 20 sample measurement files. Right click and copy those 22 files. Then go to the inbox folder and right click to paste. Once the inbox is empty, go back to CM4D Reporter. Load the new corner module data into CM4D Reporter. Right click on the routine name and select Query Control from the menu. In the Query Parameters for Loading Samples section, set the last setting to 75. Click Reload to load the part data using the updated query settings. Make the image view in the report larger by selecting the view and then click the Zoom Fit 3D button on the toolbar. Now enable Auto Mode by clicking the Toggle Reporter Auto Mode button on the toolbar. Using Auto Mode, you will not have to click the New Data Notification icon each time you want to load new data into a report. New data will be loaded automatically as soon as it is processed through the inbox and into the database. Go back to the Corner Module folder. Scroll through the files and select the file corner module U03021.xml. Hold shift and select the file corner module U03100.xml. To copy the files, hold the control key and drag these 80 sample files to the inbox. Back in CM4D Reporter, watch as the data begins to populate the trend charts when new sample data is taken from the inbox and loaded into CM4D Reporter. Each new sample will appear on the right-hand side of the chart, and will continue to do so until the number of samples loaded reaches 75. Once the max number of samples loaded is reached, the oldest samples will begin to be removed from the left side of the chart. Once all of the samples have been loaded, only the newest 75 samples will be shown. The next few minutes will show you what it looks like as all 80 samples are added to the report using auto mode.